Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess with that Pixie Planner Life, and today we're going to be talking about my upcoming Disney trip. So if you want to hear all about it, stick around because that's coming up right now. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and like I said today we are going to be talking about my upcoming Disney trip if you didn't already see from the title of this video and I am so excited to be talking to you guys all about it so let's just get started so I don't know if you guys have seen any of my other previous videos but if you have you know that I've talked about briefly my upcoming girls Disney trip today is September 26th 2022 and in just a mere month and a half, I am going to be back in Disney World. And for the first time ever, I am going to be going with my mom and my aunt slash planner bestie and nobody else. <laughs> I'm not going to have my husband with me. I'm not going to be there with my kids. And I think I'm going to be kind of in shell shock. It's going to be a lot for me, but I am really excited to just experience Disney in a whole new way. If you guys did not check out the vlog where me and my husband did our very first couples only trip to Disney World, I'll link that down below in the description box as well in an iCard above so you guys can go and check it out. But doing Disney without kids and just your spouse is an incredible thing. Dan and I do plan on doing that again for a little bit longer come 2023, but we got a ways to go before that happens. And it was a whole new experience. It was like doing Disney for the first time. And I feel like this trip is going to be the same thing all over again. I just have a lot of feelings and a lot of excitement, a lot of anxiety about not being there with Dan. He is kind of like the other half of me. He's like my second piece and I don't do a lot of things without him. I have tried. It's tough. <laughs> but I think I really do need to do this for myself. So we are gonna be going from November 9th through November 13th. So it was originally only supposed to be, I think a two or three night trip, but with the flight situation happening and just the prices, it ended up being way cheaper to fly out the day before and fly home the day after. And then to add on top of that, my aunt was able to get us universal tickets. So we are actually spending our very first night in Florida at Cabana Bay in Universal Studios and then the following day is gonna be a universal day and I am finally gonna to get to see Harry Potter and Hogwarts and Diagon Alley and I am just freaking out. <laughs> I am so over the moon. I am so thankful and grateful to my aunt. This would not be possible without her and her job that she has and I'm just, I'm over the moon. I'm so excited. It's going to be crazy. I am just really looking forward to walking through there and seeing it for the first time and getting to experience it with my mom and my aunt. You know, my aunt does like Harry Potter, but they're not like massive Harry Potter fans like my son and my husband are. So I do feel a little guilty <laughs> going without them. But again, I just feel like this trip is gonna be like a whole new world for me and I, I, I need to do this trip. I need to do it for me. See how I can be and who I am without my kids and my husband. I love them to death, they're my everythings, but that's all I know, that's all I am. Yeah, this trip is a big deal, you guys. <laughs> Cabana Bay I'm also super excited about. I've heard lots of great things about it and they have the amazing Lazy River right in their backyard. I don't know what the temperature is gonna be like. I am just praying to the heavens that it is warm enough for it to allow me to at least take one stroll around because I just wanna do it. <laughs> it's just something I wanna do for myself. I'm really excited to do something I haven't done in a really long time. The last time I was at Universal Studios was back in 2005 or 2004. I want to say 2005. I was like a kid, so it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be really awesome. After we finish up at Universal Studios, we are literally going, we're taking an Uber from Cabana Bay straight to Pop Century. That's where we're going to be staying for our Disney portion of this trip. 
and we are immediately going to go from checking in at Pop Century over to Disney Springs and hitting up Raglan Road for dinner and doing some shopping. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really interesting to see how the three of us interact with each other. We've never been on vacation before like this together. Uh, just so you know, my aunt is my mom's sister. So I think we're going to be able to kind of, you know, hold each other up a little bit throughout the course of this vacation, which is going to be really great. And me and my mom have never taken a trip like this together. So it's going to be an extra bonus to kind of like to kind of show her who I am as a person when I'm here. I think that she's kind of questioned a little bit, you know, why is this such a big part of Jessica's personality? But it is and I have lots of reasons for it. And I just really want her to see why I love it. The last time we were there together, I was a kid. So it, it's a whole new experience for her too. She hasn't been since 2005 and it's it's just gonna be really great to like see disney see her experience disney in her new self so yeah really excited about raglan road their food is so good and then we're gonna be doing magic kingdom twice so we have magic kingdom booked for friday and sunday so we are going to be doing magic kingdom on friday Friday is actually the very first night of the Christmas party. Unfortunately, we are not going just financially. We couldn't afford it. But the great thing about going on a party day is typically during the day, it tends to be a little less crowded. Because if you have a party ticket, you're not gonna, you're gonna wait until you can get in. And a lot of people won't go to the park on a party day because it closes early. But for us, being like a girl's trip, we're kind of just like keeping this trip as kind of like a low key, go with the flow type of trip. And the beautiful thing about this is once we are done at Magic Kingdom, we are going to be going over to Polynesian and having dinner at Tambu Lounge. We're gonna get a drink and we're gonna share some those famous Ohana noodles and some apps. And then we're gonna hop over to the Grand Floridian and hopefully either the gingerbread house or the Christmas tree will be up. I really wanna see all of the Christmas in these resorts. And I'm just so excited for that. Also, Crystal Palace is officially bringing back their character breakfast and we got a reservation and I'm so excited. I, I have been wanting to have a character meal at Crystal Palace, a character breakfast, I should speak specify at Crystal Palace for years and we've we finally got it we're so excited it's one of my aunt's all-time favorites and I'm just really excited to see it. I think my mom is gonna fall in love with the atmosphere of the restaurant she doesn't really watch YouTube videos or keep track of photos and things like that that's kind of all me and my aunt so it's gonna be really exciting to see her reaction to it and I'm just I, I'm so excited that's got to be like up there for me as far as like what I'm excited most for. Just really looking forward to doing something new with them and yeah, and we're gonna, we have a super early reservation. So bonus is we get to get in the parks so when there's gonna be like nobody in there. So we'll be able to get some really awesome pictures and TikToks, I hope. So stay tuned for that. Really looking forward to that. Yeah, Friday is gonna be Friday's gonna be an amazing day. That's gonna be November 11th, so, so excited for that. After Magic Kingdom on Saturday, we have a double park day. We're gonna be hitting up Hollywood Studios and Epcot. This probably is gonna be the hardest day for us, but I think we can do it. The key to this day is Hollywood Studios. We're not gonna be doing many rides. We're actually gonna be focusing on a lot of shows. We do wanna do Rise of the Resistance. We would like to do Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway maybe get in Toy Story Mania as well. But I think those are like the only rides we're really focusing on. I may or may not hop on Tower of Terror by myself. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. It's not my mom and my aunt's thing, but I don't know, doing a ride solo, I don't know, it just sounds very freeing to me. I don't know, don't ask. And Tower of Terror is my all time favorite ride in all of Walt Disney World. And the only other people that like this ride are my my oldest son and my daughter sort of likes it. Scared her to death the first time, but I think she, now that she knows what to expect, she probably would like to do it again. So my husband's not a free for all drop kind of guy. Yeah, <laughs> that is an option. We'll see. But we're gonna hit up a lot of shows. 
we are going to be doing Indiana Jones and we're going to go see the Frozen show. I think those are like our top two shows and the Beauty and the Beast. I think we're really focusing on those three shows. We love shows. My mom and my aunt love shows. I think my mom is really going to love Frozen. She loves Frozen. She kind of fell in love with the movies when my daughter was little. It was a big thing in our house back then when we were still living with them. So <laughs> really excited for that. And then we're going to take the Skyliner over to Epcot and we're going to do food and wine and do a couple of rides there. Really hoping to get on Frozen and Spaceship Earth and maybe Soren. I don't know, just talking about it with you guys and thinking about it, it's getting me so excited. It's scary doing something new, especially with my anxiety, but I'm ready for it. I really do think I'm ready for it. Closing out the trip is gonna be on Sunday. We have another Magic Kingdom day. We are not doing Animal Kingdom this time around, which is totally okay. Sunday morning, we are going to be going to Disney Springs and we're gonna do another bout of shopping and just kind of like hang out and do that. We currently have a reservation for Chef Mickey's for Sunday. It's like a late, I think it's like a late brunch. I believe it's like 11.50, so it's like really late. It's more of like a lunchtime reservation. We have not decided if we're gonna keep it or not. We were really only budgeting for one character meal and Crystal Palace is it for us. Like that's the one we want to keep for sure. So if we decide to get rid of Chef Mickey's, we will. However, we're going to see what our financial situation is when it gets closer to the trip, because if we can do it, I think we're going to keep it. My mom loves Chef Mickey's and it's two completely different character meals. You're getting Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Piglet, and Tigger over at Crystal Palace. And at Chef Mickey's, you're getting the Fab Five. You're getting Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy and Pluto. So two completely different experiences, completely different food options. So it's not like we're paying for the same exact thing. So that's why I think we're keeping it in our back pocket for now. I think it would be really awesome if we could do both. That would be so cool. But we'll see. We will see. But that is going to be Magic Kingdom at the end of the night. We're going to go to Liberty Tree Tavern for dinner. So excited for that. Another new restaurant. And we're going to be hanging out at Magic Kingdom for the night. Checking out Enchantment. That will probably be the last time that we see Enchantment. Because come the end of the 50th anniversary, there's going to be a whole new spectacular. Bringing back the Happily Ever After theme song, which is going to be awesome. So can't wait to see that. But it'll be cool to be able to see it one last time. So that kind of sums up our trip. I am so excited. I think I've said that like a million times in this video already, but I just want to like portray to you guys how thrilling it is to be doing something like this for the first time. I have only ever traveled with my husband and my kids or my parents. And even though my mom's going to be here, my mom's coming with me on this trip that was when I was little, like this is like adults, like we're in a totally different dynamic now. I'm definitely nervous. I'm really nervous about the flight. I don't fly well. My husband's kind of like my backbone with that, but we're going to get through it. And once we get down there, I think it's going to be a whole new world. A whole new world. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to do that. Just putting that out there. Totally a whole new world for myself. There is just something to be said about doing something new for the first time that gives you this feeling of change and growth. And let's just keep that going because I feel like all of 22 has been about change and growth on repeat. <laughs> like this circle, change and growth, change and growth, change and growth. A lot of it's been really hard. It's been really hard and I deserve this vacation. It's just time. I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. <laughs> okay, so to recap, we're leaving on November 9th. Flying down Frontier, eek, but crossing our fingers. <laughs> Heading over to Cabana Bay, staying one night at Universal and going to Universal Studios the following day. Gonna check out all Harry Potter things. So excited. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we are gonna be doing City Walk the night we fly in too. So that'll be fun. I think we're gonna go eat at Breadbox and just walk around and just get the feels of being back in Orlando. Friday is Magic Kingdom and Crystal Palace. Saturday is Epcot and Hollywood Studios with some shows, food and wine and harmonious. And then Friday is Disney Springs 
and Magic Kingdom again to check out Enchantment and to close out our vacation. We leave Monday super early in the morning. Like I'm not even kidding you. Our flight is at 6 a.m. We have to leave Pop Century at 3. Not going to get much sleep Sunday night. It's okay. It'll be worth it. <laughs> I'll sleep when I get home. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever done a girls Disney trip before and tell me how it went, what you loved about it. I just have so many different emotions going into this vacation. Mostly excitement, a little bit of anxious, a little bit of nervousness. I just, yeah, I'm so happy to be going back home. <laughs> I will be doing a packing video at some point for you guys. It is about that time where I sit down and plan out my outfits. I am an earlier packer. I like to get all of my clothes and my accessories put together ahead of time. That way it's all in the suitcase. I don't have to like worry about my clothes on top of all of my electronics and my accessories and my, my personal bag for the plane and like all the last minute stuff like toothbrush, toothpaste. I try to keep all of those things for you know that week or a few days before and I do like my shoes and my clothes about a month a month and a half ahead of time so we were right around that time it is going to be October 1st this weekend so we're just about a month out and yeah yeah it's crazy it's absolutely crazy all right you guys I'm so excited to be going back to Disney World and Universal 2 Orlando will always be the place where I feel myself and at home at my best. I've just been really missing it. So super excited. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I would love it if you hit the red subscribe button down below. Join my Planny fam so you can see more Disney and planning content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy planning and stay magical.